Last season, the issue in South Central was won by Basingstoke Town and the season before, it was Bracknell Town winning the title. This season, Churchill Town are currently on top with 57 points and looking to finally gain promotion to step three. Tonight, they take on third place Leatherhead, who themselves are also in contention for the league title. Churchill have won all of their last five, scoring 24 goals, even destroying Binfield 9-0 and Uxbridge 6-0. Leverhead aren't doing too bad either, winning three of their previous five. The last time they met, the Curfews ran out 1-0 winners at Fetcham Grove. I'm getting closer to that elusive 1,000 subscribers, so please subscribe if you haven't already, if you like the content. Now I will see you just outside Sainsbury's in Chertsey. I am going to be bold and make a prediction for tonight's game. I'm going to say Chertsey Town 3, Leverhead 1. I mean, Chertsey, I believe, of the top three goal scorers in the entirety of this league, Chertsey have two of them, I believe. So I think they've got the firepower up front, scored plenty of goals tonight. Obviously, Leverhead will be up for it as well. You're going to want to stay and watch this video because I think tonight, this is going to be a cracker. So I've made it to my second favourite non-league ground of the whole of non-league that I've visited so far. It's a proper old school looking ground, plenty of undercover which we love to see. And just look at it, it's absolutely wonderful and it's great for atmosphere as well. Right then, time for a little scram review. I've gone for this cheeseburger here at the Curfews. They sent me back £4.50, so quite expensive, but that's normal these days. So if you have a look, yeah, cheeseburger, pretty basic. Not too exciting, but I'll let you know how this tastes in just a second. The burger itself was cooked quite well, quite nice, but the bun a bit too bready. Yes, I would say a bit too bready so I'll give this a 6 out of 10 down here it looks very dark doesn't it I'm quite scared to go down here but I mean you could bang your head in there easily look if you're bloody 8 foot you've, or 7 foot you've had it but yeah this is a lovely ground I absolutely love it I can't stop saying it that's not lit up very well it's not the main stand but it is what it is I suppose I'd absolutely love to see these guys at step three in the Southern League Premier South next season. I love coming here for an away day and they deserve it. They've got a great fan base. I think it's at least four to seven hundred they get here a game. So well supported club, very good club, nice ground. Overall it ticks all the boxes I'd say. It's a football club here and um, Leverhead as well. They came from step three a couple of years ago getting ready to get into this division. So it'd be good to see them back at, the, at step three at some point but Chertsey it's theirs to lose now. Levhead fans are making plenty of noise already. Why you got number seven on? Gone for it. Go for try. That's all we say. Good save by Nick Jupp. And there's a Levhead corner. Another good tackle from Levhead. Oh, they're giving it away already though. Going for it. Tips it just wide. This atmosphere is electric here at All Winds Lane. I have to say, this has been a very lively start, hasn't it? Good chance for Leverhead. Our folly, and it goes over. Go for it. Go for it. Just holding here. A bit of pushing and shoving going on. He's broken the flag. <laughs> oh, here we go. That post. Oh. Put in. Oh, great header, and it's one nil to Chertsey. Well deserved, one nil to Chertsey. They deserve it. They've been a better team with more shots and more chances, and that's what matters. Chelsea plays some great long balls and Botti is onto this and that's going to be a foul. 
This guy, Botti, he's one of their top goal scorers at Chertsey. He's been a real great player to watch. Half time, the better team are winning. Church had a lot more chances. Definitely, Church had deserved leaders. Never had a couple of chances, nothing too special. But yeah, let's see how the second half goes. Maybe Church can get another three points. That's a very good attendance for a Tuesday night game. 579 here, all wins lane. Decent. Here we go, second half of action. Oh, nice play this. Close. Oh, nearly hit Botti's head there for 2 0, but just missed it. Somehow they couldn't hit the target. Yeah, Boosh. Drake's nicked up, and that's uh, a poor free kick. And left head of equalised, it's 1 1. It's been a long time coming. Churchill has been lacklustre in this second half so far and yeah could we see Leverheads take lead at some point it could well happen Churchill have to do better than this game on here come the Churchs I think that was a fair tackle to be honest this is a great ball he deliver oh no he can't chance for them to go 2-1 ahead good head don't know if you can see that but it's about five minutes to go plus injury time so we're getting close to the end I think next goal if there is any more goals that will be the winner oh what a header oh what a header Chelsea back in the lead with about a minute to go in this game what scenes this is what non-league is all about what a game this has been tonight. Slightly dire second half, but that is a header of all headers. The Church will take the lead at 2 1. I'm glad there's been one more goal in this because it was die that second half and uh, the game has sprung back into life now about a minute to spare. Last chance for Leverhead to get another equaliser. There he goes, just over thankfully for the curfews and that is game over. Shirts who remain top. It's a great three points for the hosts. And it's a great header that wins it, still it's the three points. With that win tonight, Chertsey pull away with a six-point lead at the top of the table and that winning headed goal on the 89th minute made a good difference to the game overall. I mean, the first half was fantastically entertaining. The second half died down a lot more for me in terms of the action. Of course, Chertsey had a few chances, left head equalised, but that winner, that was some header, wasn't it? And the atmosphere was electric when that goal went in at full time. I mean... That was great and I hope I wish Chertsey the best in their hunt for promotion and the title this season and of course Leverhead would be great to see them in the playoff mix battling for promotion back to step three. If you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more non-league vlogs. Well I'm back on Saturday Bratnell Town versus Salisbury in the Southern League Premier South. It's been a great night, great atmosphere, decent football, not bad weather to be fair so it's been an all round oh and a decent burger as well. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you lot in the next video.